Welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to an all new creepy old crypt. Yep. The show where we take old theme park stuff, some new theme park stuff, whatever, dust it off, look at it, throw it back in the coffin, bury it, or dig it up. Yeah. That's what we do. And we're going to do it. Most of the time, we do it on location where we're in the parks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we're in the studio because it, it, it isn't, you know, relevant to anything. Tonight is an irrelevant night. Yeah. I, always good to say that your show is about to be irrelevant. <laughs> but our topic tonight is theme park hot takes. Now, let me tell you, yeah. th hot takes can be annoying. Like, we're going to say that up front. Mm -hmm. they, it can be like, well, huh, you think this? Well, I think this. Yeah. We were trying to not make it that. But it will be. I, there will be a degree of it that feels like. There will be a degree of it that feels like, oh, you contrarian dorks yes yes there's a couple on but here. yeah for sure we're coming from a good place most of ours are positive mm -hmm. things we like yep instead of make us mad you know whatever yeah. but some are mad some are bad some are like this thing sucks yes and we're going to talk about that but theme park hot takes hot takes is the lowest form of twitter you know i you know twitter can sometimes boil down to huh, what opinion got you like this Oh, the, uh, the, 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 swords, the knives. The swords, and then it's like, oh, I yeah. actually think pizza is bad. That, <laughs> that is the lowest form of social media. <laughs> so we're recognizing that this isn't our, our best, you know, work here. But, mm. you know, but, you know, this is a conversational show. And sometimes when you're with your friends, you talk about, hey, you do this. I don't understand that. What is that? Why? You, why do you like that? You're, yeah. you're an idiot, you yeah. know? He might say that to me. I may say that to him. We don't know. <laughs> but this is what the show is like. It's conversational. So it's not just me tweeting a hot take and then walking away. <laughs> Actually, Mickey no. Mouse is, is bad. And then posting no, it and then consequences. I leave. No, it's me. I'm yeah. sitting here. This is so if he pisses face. me off, he's going to know it. This is face to face. <laughs> it's so anyway, 2D Fruity in the chat. And we are doing this live. Yep. So you may get some chat interaction. Yep. I'm curious in the chat and in the comments on YouTube, what's your favorite, what's your biggest hot take? Yeah. yeah. Wait, Akira Toriyama just died? No, -uh. no. Uh oh, Johnny, did you hear, did Akira Toriyama just die? <laughs> oh, no. We got a guy on the, no. on, on, I know a guy that can Google anything. Did you see it? Or do we have, or do we have a, are they trying to snooker us in the chat? I, I think so. Look at Dragon Ball Twitter. I'm sorry to derail this episode, guys, but this just got serious. Nothing has hit Google. Did you try? I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Check TMZ. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, oh. Dragon Ball official. Oh, oh man. That's no. Sucks. No. He's like my favorite artist, dude. I know. No. I don't think I turned. Uh, I think I just turned these off. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's oh, up. man. That sucks. Did you hear that, Garrett? Akira Toriyama. Oh, are you yeah. You're wearing it. You're wearing. <laughs> Dr. Slump on the shirt. He passed away on March 1st. And they just reported it. They just announced they were going to maybe make a Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah, yeah. You we know? are live. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. alive. But the, only these two mics are hot right now. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I was debating getting a Toriyama tattoo for the last six months. Oh, yeah. man. But I decided to get the Shinkawa yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was like, oh, I've wanted the Shinkawa art way longer. Yeah. But I've still been thinking about a Toriyama one. Holy shit. So you're saying you fucked up now? Well, no. Now I have to go with my plan. Yeah. To yeah, yeah. Get a Toriyama one. Oh, I'm Damn, so heartbroken that about that. Oh man. I thought it was the actress who plays Goku. Oh no, no. Well, no. Guys, and she's way older, as far as I, I know. know. And I, I heard you guys. Yeah. yeah. Didn't smoke as much. Oh <laughs> yeah, you never yeah. know. Oh, that's that oh, sucks. Man. Uh, hey, so hey, Sandland still hasn't come out. The movie that's going to be huge now. Yeah, yeah, that will be. I think it came out in Japan, but yeah, there it is. Johnny tribute, yeah. tribute. I just want to say real quick. Sorry, I'm gonna grab your yeah, yeah, go for it. Sorry, I just want to get this on here. 
Uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten into drawing if it wasn't for Akira Toriyama. So this this oh I, this hits really hard. Akira so. Toriyama okay. opened new worlds yep. to artists to, uh, I mean just imagination. Um, his style fit video games so yeah, well. Chrono Trigger is my favorite. RPG ever. Oh my god! And it, it, all his art looked great. Oh, and Dragon Quest would be. No, I mean, yeah. that was such an essential part of video games, and he was just a, a pillar of creativity. To yeah. Me. Oh man, that's a bummer. Oh man. All right, Disneyland we're hot still gonna, Yeah, we're, <laughs> I don't care anymore, man. <laughs> oh man. Uh oh yeah. So Earth Boy in the chat. What's the Goku Twitter gonna post? Oh yeah. Because you know they always post like, uh, uh, just uh, got a call from King Yama. Um. Uh, who who's yeah. died? I'm trying to think of people who have died. Um, Nobody. Kirstie Alley has just checked into the uh, other oh, world station or whatever. Yeah. He's That's gonna, gonna happen. I what's what's it? Kira Toriyama gonna get? Man, that is yeah. such a bummer. That is. Oh man. Well. No, it's not. No, and like I said, old. I think the woman who plays Goku is like eighty something. Yeah. Man, that is such a bummer. Well, I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. Uh, to kick this off with such a. I know. Bummer. Downer, but I'm so sad about that. That really hurts. That really, really hurts. Man. Rest in peace. Yep. And Bam Margera Torres MCL. That's not good either. No. But yeah, Masako, Masako Nozawa is 87. Because I really? remember. I remember hearing that they did Dragon Ball Super kind of for her. Like. Hey, you know we're gonna let's let's give let's give her one last ride. Yeah. You know, like no, like they're not. They, you know, who knows if they'll have someone else play Goku ever? Like, yeah, we gotta have her do it. Yep. You know, so oh, and she was doing that man. still. Like, yeah. like, yeah, that's that's cool. But what a bummer. Oh, that's so sad. All right. Well, hot take number one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did we keep? I think we keep this. Hey, you may not be a Dragon Ball person. You may, you know, but yeah, that, yeah. that that happened. That's a yeah, real moment. It is. You Cri saw it live. Creepy old crypt. We are in the crypt. That's a little too soon for to say that, but uh, you know, things are dark sometimes. Yep. But we're gonna try to press on. We're gonna talk about park stuff. Our favorite park uh, and worst and whatever. Hot, hot I can't takes. even talk properly now. Yeah. Uh, our hot takes on theme park stuff. We're gonna do that. I know. And then. Rooster Teeth yesterday. Yep. Who's next? I'm afraid to ask. I know. It, uh, these, these things come in threes. <laughs> as uh, Junior Uncle Junior said once in The Sopranos. Is that from Uncle Junior? The, these came, I always hear about these things come in threes. That's, that's a widely held thing. I don't know if that's an Italian thing. Okay. Uh, my family was always that. Uh, it was like, uh-oh. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then them? Yep. Yep. Third one's coming. But uh, they repeated it ad nauseum in, uh, in Sopranos. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. All right, everybody. We're going to keep going with our theme park discussion. Yeah. Okay. Let's do our first hot take. We're not okay. doing these in a particular order. No, it's too hard to order hot takes because yeah. it's like, well, do I order them by what I think is the hottest take? But yeah. I, that's it's too hard. Maybe what I would do, I guess. But what do you... I don't care. Yeah, it's just... Things that you think are a hot take, like most people might not agree with this, but yeah, here, it's these are our hear me outs. Yeah, hear me out. Um, you know, I love, by the way, when dudes do that with, uh, well, you know, like men and women or, and everybody on Twitter yeah. uh, will post like, hear me out. And they'll post a picture of somebody like, like implying you think they're hot. Yeah. yeah. Like not a conventional. Now, when women do this or, or anybody who's into men, whatever, mm -hmm. when they do that, it'll be like a weird looking dude. It'll be like the fucking lawyer in jurassic park yeah hear me out and it's like oh okay okay unusual choice yeah dudes will post like one of the girls from broad city it's like yeah these are attractive women that were on a tv show <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. yeah oh here, here's here's some babe from tv yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really not weird anyway uh okay do you want me to go first or do you want to go first i i wish johnny was here he flip a coin oh <laughs> no uh you go first I'll go first. First hot take, and I'll give you my. And if ours match up, so be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, then we'll, we'll, we'll then, both then, go in. Then it. we'll know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My first hot take is a positive one because I want to start out positive. Yeah. I think the food at Disneyland or theme park, Disney theme parks in general, is pretty fucking good. People, I always hear about like, oh, theme park food. Oh, sucks. theme park food. Theme park food is disgusting. Yeah. And it's like, 
no, things have changed in the last like 10 years yep. that the food is really good. They have to because yep. everybody can post photos of it now. So it has to look good. It has to taste good because everybody can instantly yep. sh- tell everybody in the whole world yep. what it tastes like. And so it like the options are great. There mm-hmm. are still the, the the basic options like a oh, yeah. dry chicken hot dog nuggies. or chicken nuggets yeah. and stuff like that. And I still feel like people think that that's all theme park yes. food. It's not. There is so many options, so many great options. Yes. I'm going to the park. I'm getting shrimp and grits. That's great. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm We're bi- getting like Louisiana yeah. food. And, I'm bypassing and all shrimp, of these uh, standards. Uh, uh, shrimp boil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like po yeah, boys and things boys. like that. Yeah. Uh, chili, all this kind of stuff. It's so good. And I think people don't understand that. That's I'm going to take it a step further. Yeah. Somebody in the chat is saying uh, they're good, but the prices can be real ass sometimes. Here's my hot take. This is yeah. even on my list. Okay. Hot take. Disney has the best deal of all the theme parks when it comes to the prices of food. Okay. Yeah. Now you're thinking, no, the food at Disneyland, it's so expensive. Okay. Go to SeaWorld. It's way more mm. for shittier food. Yeah. Garbage. Food. Uh, Knott's has always been cheaper. Kevin, mm. I don't know if you've been following it. It's not cheaper. <laughs> that things have changed. Even yeah. the food card this year, people are kind of like, mm, it's not, the, not that great of a deal. Like okay. It used to be. Disneyland, surprisingly, the food, the cost is not that bad. No. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, you're still paying a premium. You, yes, you are. You're in a theme park. Not trying to you're mince, not leaving, mince it. So they're going to charge more because you're in a theme park. Yeah, but it's actually better than most theme parks. Not. I don't, I don't know if it's good, but it's better than most theme parks. Mm-hmm. Even better than Universal. Better than Universal. You, um, The new drinks at the Mario thing. You yeah. know, they have the new Nintendo stand. Yep. Kevin, the drinks are 13 bucks. Just a drink? And they're not alcoholic. Most meals they're, at yeah. Disneyland are like 18. Yeah. Like like standard, like, okay, the meal doesn't include the drink, obviously, but yeah. it's the, the like... The, the the meal with the sides and everything. Everyone at home or everyone online has just been like, what? That's a lot. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm saying, and the food, I mean, the the if you get the short rib thing at the Toad Cafe, 25 mm-hmm. bucks. Yeah. And I, I think the Toad Cafe stuff is kind of, compared to Disneyland, underwhelming. Yeah. Like, it, it's it's good enough. Yeah. But it's, not for the it's price. It's cute to eat there. Yeah. The whole experience. But that, I'm not going... Ooh, I gotta go back and eat that. No, every time Dis- I go to that place, I don't yes. go like, oh, I have to go eat there. No, no I'm going. I'm going to three broomsticks. It's fun like, to go with friends yeah. to eat there, and you're oh, they're in the tub. I, I I enjoy it. Yeah. If people want to go, I'm down. Yeah, but I don't crave the food. No. Now three broomsticks, mm-hmm. I'll fucking because they'll be fucking. They have d- delicious British food. Oh, I'll be I'll be at home going sticky toffee pudding. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm sorry, the butter beer. I know. Listen, now I know. The problem with eating there, okay? I know where the money's going. Actually, there are guides online to what you can buy there that uh, uh, Jake, that J, that uh, j- uh, jerk off Rowling, I don't know what JK stands for, <laughs> just cruddy, uh, what she gets and what she doesn't. Yeah. We're not going to get into that. You can't trademark fish and chips. Yeah, like, she don't get that. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you can't do that. Or uh, bangers and mash, which yeah. is good. Those there. are all just standard stuff. But, but I, they don't I, have that roast anymore, though. I huh? was just about to say. Yeah. They took away this my Sunday roast, and mm-hmm. that was my go-to there. Yeah. It was great. It was a ton of food for not that much. It was great. It's gone. It's gone. Um, so you win some, you lose some. But, yep. so, yeah, I don't crave the Nintendo food. Nope. But the prices of food at Disneyland, still, you know, still not cheap. Yeah. But it's better than the other ones. Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. Uh, let's hit the button here. Okay. Oh, 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 I did want to say uh, the food is pretty good. Oh, what you were saying, though, about, like, you hear people complain about it all the time? Yeah. I do know people that aren't, um, you know, rapid theme park goers. Like, mm-hmm. they go maybe once a year. Yeah. And they complain about the food. Yes. And they go to the same places every time. Mm-hmm. It's like, Well, I went to Pizza Planet, and it wasn't that good. Yeah. yeah you, Stop going there, to Pizza there, Planet. I'm not saying there isn't bad food at yeah. Disneyland. I'm just saying that if you look for even a second longer you'll find something good. you'll find something really good and there are enough disneyland foods disneyland has a is a long list of foods that i actually crave and can't get anywhere else yeah i'm constantly thinking about 
shit that I had at the Blue Bayou. I'm mm-hmm. constantly thinking about shit I had at Club 33. Yep. I mean, that's not a common thing to do. Yeah. But um, like, I had a burger there, and I'm still thinking about. It. I'm still yeah. going. When can I get that, that burger new again? that new Tiana restaurant? The food is oh the, immaculate. The, the beef po' boy. Yeah. The, the shrimp and grits. I yeah. want that all right that, now. All that's great. Yeah. So, and it's not like it's insane. It's not like you're paying the, sit down uh, me, like menu yeah. prices and stuff like the that. The toffee. Yeah. I, I crave that all the yep. time. Toffee's great. Uh, p- yeah, Pizza Planet is is overpriced, but you yes. know it's also bad. So don't yep. go there. I know. Don't. There's there's a couple places to steer clear of, and yeah. if you know that, then you're good. Uh, do you know what I keep hearing? What? that people have that has become. You know, there's there's things that just become hype beast items. Yes, yes, dude. I had heard about it after the holidays that Harbor Galley got warm chocolate chip cookies. I I almost got some while there were we were there. Yeah. last time, yeah. and I didn't. Because I, I was like, I don't need them. I don't need them. Well, anymore. I was there with you and tried to get, and they were yeah. like sold out. No, I went again with my yeah. wife, and I was like, I, you could smell them. Yeah. You, you're walking by, you could smell fresh cookies, and I'm like, oh, I should get that. And I go, yeah. no, I don't need that. And I can make those at home. So yeah. I was like, I, I, I'm going to pass. I, I heard that they're not like super special. Yeah, they're just, but they're, they're great. They're, 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 I bet you, I haven't had them. Mm-hmm. But I bet you they're the same as most places. Is They're hot and fresh, but they're the pre-made mix that you can get, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. I love cookie dough that you have in your fridge that you can just bake yeah like it's still really good yeah but it's just those which not bad but i can i can get those like, uh, uh 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 w- what was the other thing i was gonna say uh fuck is it about the cookies or the yeah Harbor the co- oh no but anyway they're they're sold out all the time yes that was my point in bringing up that they're sold out uh, everybody wants warm cookies. yeah because people and they line have up milk yeah they have milk there oh man nope. anyway all right uh, mine is food related. I'll go. I'll go okay. with mine next. Here is a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'll go with this. It's a food related one, but it's a positive one. Yeah. Mobile order is good. I'll agree with that one. Yeah. I always see people online. They want me to mobile order food and I refuse. This restaurant I went to, they're making, there's only one register. They're making me. Now, now here's the thing. I think there should be more registers. Mm-hmm. I think there should be more registers for people who just want to walk up and order food. Yeah. I'm not disagreeing with that. But when people say I refuse to do mobile order, I used to, I've had an annual pass since the beginning of the 2000s. Mm-hmm. I've never had an issue with mo. Uh, now, I used to wait in line for food all the time. Yeah, I feel like I used to wait at the Hungry Bear for a fucking hour to get a burger. Yeah. Now I'm in line for Star Tours. And you're like, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm hungry. Okay, I'm cool. Just gonna do that. Okay, it'll be. And ready then when I, I get walk there. up. There it is. I've got the food. And I no wait. It's it was uh, so and, nice. And I'll take it a step further. I've never had one issue with it. There's been. Maybe a couple times where I accidentally hit the button that's like prepare it now, and, and it's you're like, like oh, no, oh, I'm no, not no, over no, there. there. Oh, I got to run over there. Yeah. But you know, I think that was on me. Yeah, I've never had any issue other than that. And I, I and don't get people like I won't mobile order. Fuck you, yeah. I won't. And it's like, yeah, I got my coffee and, in two seconds. And one thing I is, they, they do that you, only mobile order does that you can't get anywhere else. A photo of what it looks like. Yes. Um, yeah, you can't get that when you walk up. When you walk up, you can't get a photo. Even in their digital menu, they don't have photos. But mm-hmm. if you go to mobile order, I've done this a couple times. It's there. It's there. You can actually see what it looks like plated, and it makes it so much easier to pick and choose yeah. what you want. Yeah. So I'll, While I'm here, I'll actually bring up another one of mine just to merge it into this, and we'll yeah. skip over it. Yeah. Actually, I'll just eliminate one off my list because okay. this is part of the same thing. And this one is maybe a hotter take than that. A lot of people might not agree with this. I've never had any issues with the Disneyland app. Just period. No. I always hear about, dude, this, how Disney wants you to do everything through their app, and it's the glitchiest, worst app ever. I I don't have any problems with it. Disney World, back in the day, I had a few little issues when it, uh, early on when I first started going, like the first time, Mm -hmm. I I had like, wait, what? That didn't work. Why didn't that work? And I restarted it. Um, but at Disneyland, I, I've actually never had problems, and I don't know not to not to sound like whatever, but I don't know if it's like the iPhone version is maybe more stable. I know a lot of people. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I know a lot of people who hate the app, and they say it's so broken. It it my Genie Plus didn't work. I I tried to scan this, it didn't work, and 
a lot of the times they have Android, and I'm like, I wonder if yeah, they I prioritize don't, I, I don't one know. for the other. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, but I have personally never had issues with yeah, the Disney. We lineup. we typically like yeah, w- like I like that we can link all our passes together and and sign up for stuff mm-hmm. like getting the the reservations for lines mm-hmm. and things for new rides. That's always works out uh, for us at least. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I, I've I've ha- I've really liked the experience with the app. Yeah, Disney has been in Apple's pocket for a long. They have, so that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, I like getting um, my ride photos just directly on my phone. You don't have yeah. to like you just. Do it and it's there. Yeah. Uh so anyway, I, I'm 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 all good with that. But yeah, mobile order I think has been an improvement on the food situation. It's better than I, I, I don't wait in line for food anymore. It's the same thing with, I used with, to that, that used to be half my day and now yeah. now I don't now it's not. It's the same thing when I go up to the Costco food court and now there's kiosks to just put it and then you yeah. just wait, but there's still people waiting in line, like a long ass yeah, line yeah. to to just go to the thing. And it's like, oh, you could have just done it. I guess if you want to pay cash. Yeah. That's the only difference. And again, I do think they should have a couple more registers for the people who yes. aren't doing that. Yep. I don't think one cuts it. No. That is that's lame. I agree. Yes. But back before they had any of this, before apps, before anybody had smartphones, mm. I was waiting in line for food all the time. Like yes. forever. So uh that was an improvement to yep. me. I agree. Uh okay. What's your next one? My next one is uh you know, I'm debating on going with another positive or another negative one i'm gonna go with i'm still i'm sticking with the food yes i'm sticking with the food um there's one food item that i think should be removed from the park and never oh oh and i think i have i have another one but you might think what i'm thinking but <laughs> okay i think i don't know why there's love for this okay but the turkey leg is <laughs> is like yeah it's like boiled hot dog meat on, that, on a fake bone. That uh, I, shit sucks. I don't. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. There is this love of the turkey leg. Me neither. That shit is fucking dripping greasy. It's so it's greasy. It's like a wet hot dog. So disgusting. Yeah. Remove it. And, I completely and, and agree. There would be an uproar if yeah. they remove the turkey leg from yeah. the park. But man, that is a disgusting hunk of food. There are things that people say are tradition in the parks. Like, oh, you go when you go, you got to eat this. And about half of them I get, and half of them I'm like, why is that a tradition? The turkey leg is looks like is like a gross mess every time. I get eating that. Yeah, I agree with Guniv in the chat. At a Ren Fair, ha ha ha, we're eating a a turkey leg. Yeah. Uh, At Disneyland, it's like. Are we are we gonna stop for you to eat that? We're not. You're gonna walk around, okay? And it, it tastes like fucked up ham. Yeah. I don't know what the turkey is yeah. in there. I don't think it is turkey. No. I, I'd be surprised if it was turkey. Um. Yeah. It is. It, it it's it's like a eating like a sweaty ass. Yeah. Cheek. It is not. Have good. you guys ever eaten ass? It's like the, <laughs> imagine the sweatiest ass, but with a bone in the middle of it. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> I'm in agreement. I think the regular uh, chimichanga is another. There, oh yeah, there's certain ones that are that are considered like, oh, it's a classic, and everyone's got their own. But uh, the regular chimichanga to me is like, I'm good, don't like it. Um, yeah, I might have had a bad one, but it's just like eh. the breakfast one. I really oh, like, the breakfast one is, is decent. Uh, and then um, you know, like they have like the ice cream bars. Mm-hmm. Those aren't. I mean, it's an ice cream bar. It's not bad, but I'm also like. You can get these anywhere. Yeah. Like, you want to eat that here? Yeah. I don't know. You can get that that ice cream bar, that Mickey-shaped. Like, you can get the Mickey-shaped ones at the yeah. store. They sell them at the store. Even now, churros. I could get a churro in a lot of different places. Mm-hmm. But at least there's they are making them in there, you know, even, even if they may have come from somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, I get it. A hot churro is not as easy to come by. Okay, but like ice cream bar, I could just go to the store and stock up yes. on them. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I just feel weird about that. Yeah. Uh, so that's mine. Now, that Chur- soft pretzel, the Mickey soft pretzel... That's like stupid, but every now and then soft pretzels hits. are that good. Hits. Soft pretzel are uh, like oh. I think pretzels in general yeah. I love. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Soft pretzels are so so good. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes that uh that hits the spot with that yes. shitty cheese. Yep. Okay, that was yours. Here's my next one. Okay, another positive one. Okay, ready? Yeah. Despite what anyone on the internet says, Soren over the world, the newest version of Soren, yeah. 
is good. It's real good. It's the the it's not any better or worse than the one before it. Yeah. It, uh I I my favorite is the California yeah, one. Yeah, and they still bring that back that's, every year that's around, my the, favorite. around like the springtime. Yeah, um, but people get into this rage over the new one like the why does it do the, oh there's CG. Oh there's yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not they're, they're both corny ass yeah, rides. Yeah. I don't know. I I'm sorry. It has a it, like the the first one has a CG paraglider like yeah, and going in front of you going sped up Woo! footage of traffic. Yeah. Um what, these are not like artistically yeah, better they're both than great. one. Or the, the only other. thing I was worried about when they yeah. make a new one is they got to keep the the song. And they yeah, did. They did. And that's all that matters. They yeah. kept the song. It is great. Yeah. And it's hilarious cuz people all the time talk about I hate the transitions. They transition between I hate those. Uh Am I the only one old enough to remember with the first one? I yeah. hate that there's no transitions. It just cuts. I hate that. Yeah. Okay, they did them. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, now I need, I don't want transitions N now. Neither of, Soren is not my favorite ride. Mm -mm. I'm not, but they're both fun. Like, I don't care yeah. which one it is. I, yep. don't, I don't care. Yeah. But the first, the, the, I'm not, you know, the California one is my favorite. Yeah. I, I agree. You know, it's fine. Yeah. It's and, fine. and I think it's just, it's coming back like, yesterday or it was like la a couple days ago it came it's coming back. back next week yeah uh yeah it is back yeah cool okay, okay. i'm good on that one okay so you're uh, i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a positive one this one may be a little uh, i don't know um i feel like i hear about this a lot okay um but parking at disneyland yeah is such a smooth experience for me huh. it is <laughs> if you get there early yeah they guide you into the thing. Yeah. They're like, go up here. Yeah. In your next spot, next spot. If you get there later, there's numbers on all the th all the aisles to tell you what has spots and what yes. doesn't. I've never They've made it, they've improved it again and again and again and again. There's this like I think it's just left over from like cartoons of something of yeah. like I've been looking for parking all day. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's that's like the supermarket on a Saturday. Yeah. That you're dealing with that there. Yeah, Trader Joe's has a worse theme, parking situation. Yeah, theme park like parking is pretty well done. At Knotts, I have, don't really have an issue. Yeah, you just go down that thing. Okay, here you go. It's a giant ass parking lot, and you just park. I I can't remember the last time I had a really bad experience with parking it at a theme park. No, uh, especially like, especially Disney. Disney, Disney's especially got it Disney. locked down. Um, I I know people all the time that are like, oh, we better go because uh, it's going to be hell leaving the parking structure. And I'm like, it's not. It no. never is. It never is. They've built it in such a way that there it, are a million it, exits. It, it empties super quick. Yeah. It, it it, it's totally really fine. ingeniously yeah. put together. Even in LA, Universal, like I think that's pretty well put together. Yeah, I don't like, I don't have trouble getting out of it. No. We know about Akira Toriyama, guys. Yeah, yeah. La that'll we be talked about it early. We we talked extensively about it. So yeah. thank you. Yep. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I, I really have no complaints with the parking there. Uh, there was a point leading up to 2019 ish, mm -hmm. in the few years before, where uh, they it were starting to run out of parking. Oh, so really? it was getting bad where they yeah, had yeah. to tweet out every day and we're done with parking and we're out. Really? Um, oh, they okay. were doing that, until, but then they added the Pixar structure. Yep. They expanded. They did everything right. Mm -hmm. They expanded. It's so much easier now. There's yes. no problem now. Mm -hmm. They massively, they added like too much parking. Like they thought <laughs> Galaxy's Edge was going to bring yeah, way so more than that. They have so much did. parking that's super easy to get to. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah. so that's that. Yep. Uh, okay. I got mine. Mm -hmm. Another positive one. Yeah, lay it on me. Ready? The new, and I say new, it's been around over a decade, Star Tours? Yes. Is dope. Yep. I I see all the theme park purists all the time. Well, they ruined it when they got rid of Rex. They ruined it. They were Now, again, just like the Soren thing. The original one is my favorite. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. But the new one rules. Yes. And 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 I'll take a step further. When I was younger, my dream of that ride was like, dude, can you imagine if they changed this ride and made it where you didn't know what planet you were going to yeah, go to? Like you would, you would leave the ride and see the posters for Hoth. Yeah. And Kashyyyk. They did it. Yep. 
it's awesome. And they did it in a great way. Like yeah. it, they're all super fun to go to. There's no planet. I'm like, Ugh, yeah, boring planet. No, they're all super fun. But there's so many people that hate the new one. Like they ruined it. Uh, no. <laughs> Again, guys, these takes might these aren't maybe that hot now, but they'll get hotter. Yeah. Um. But that's all. I really like it. I always hear. I I I like the old one the best. I still I agree with that. Yeah. And I don't think they should get rid of the old one. I I still wish that was in the mix that they would bring it in now now and mm-hmm. then as a as a temporary thing. But yeah. I I like the new one a lot. I do too. Yeah. That's it for that one. Okay, what do you cool. got? Uh oh, this one. This one's kind of I I'm hesitant to do this one. Okay. Because I like I know I get where people are coming from with this, but I uh oh you're gonna you're gonna I feel uh, it you're gonna lose them on this one I'm I don't gonna, know what I, it is I'm gonna lose it on I'm I got gonna, a bad feeling lose, about it but man Dole whips are so overrated oh no they no! I, I'm sorry they're iconic Disneyland uh, treat the, you Dole lost whip. them oh the oh, chat no. the chat oh the chat's Dole whips popping are so they're overrated. popping like. They're just pineapple sorbet. There's nothing and, like, to dislike about it. It's a fruity, tasty treat that you eat. Bullshit. Listen, <laughs> listen. <not> true. <laughs> if you're getting that at home, you're getting that whatever, I agree with you. But it's the fun of getting a cool, fruity treat and sitting and watching the tiki room, whatever. I'm not looking to eat that like as part of my day-to-day thing. Yeah. I, I don't. It's not that good. Yeah, yeah. And I agree in that sense. They're not mm. they're not the best thing at Disneyland. Yeah. But there's nothing but joy out of it. Getting that, watching the tiki <laughs> room. It's a hot day. You go into the cool tiki room. You have a Dole Whip. It's yeah, so I'm, fun. I'm just there. It's fun. I'm there with the Dole whip having a great time, enjoying no, not if you're not having a Dole Whip, this this, this, it sucks. Ice cream thing. It's, it's, like watching ice cream. A, it's like watching a movie with no popcorn. What was the point of going? <laughs> I Hey. I watch a movie with no popcorn 99% of the time. Yeah, okay. N- okay, tell me part of Dune. I, bet you can't. <laughs> I don't know. I was too too busy not eating popcorn. Yeah, I see, exactly. Because you because you had such a bad night, you don't want to remember it. <laughs> I, I've never I, I will it. I will I will disagree. That is our <sighs> first rift. They even I, I was so bummed when they added the the new restaurant behind it. Yeah. Vega, and it was just a lot of different Dole Whips. Yeah. I, I want the citrus swirl. That is not a Dole Whip. It is so good. I do. Now, that one, I'll divert. I don't know if that's a hot take. I, yeah. The citrus swirl is better. Yeah. The citrus swirl is way better. Yeah. And uh, it is so good. And just bring that here. Bring that here, please. I don't want to yeah. fly to Florida to get a citrus swirl. It's so I good. I like that better. Uh, 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 uh. uh I do really like though that uh, tropical hideaway. They have a bunch of yes. different Dole whips, but they I like have the food, ba- the lumpia, they have bao, lumpia. They have yeah. all kinds of shit. That bao is really good. The yeah. pork bao or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I so, do, I do enjoy. Yeah. Uh, Overall, that. that place is a, is a net was yeah. a net positive. That was unused space in Disneyland. Yeah. With uh, now there's it's full of table. You know, you but can sit just, and have a snack. It, but the, like the sweet side is always just more Dole whips. It's like this one now is raspberry, yeah. and this one has uh, pocky in it, and all this yeah. kind of stuff. It's like no. New yeah. citrus swirl. I don't want sherbet or sorbet or anything like I, that. I, I don't mind the, the fruit flavors, but get vanilla in there too. Yep. You need I to agree. get that in there too. I agree. Okay. You know what? I'm I'm gonna apologize. This is the next one. I think I'm you know what? If they lost if you lost everyone, I'm gonna win them back. Okay. Because I'm looking, I'm like, <laughs> is this a hot take? I think everyone's gonna agree with me. Okay. Hot take. But there is a type of person that won't agree with me. Mm-hmm. Listen, Disneyland is for families. You got to bring. Yep. Listen, kids come first. Yes. If you go there for them, like I, you know, oh, I'm waiting to. Uh, they they said I could go into the captain's thing on the on the um, Mark Twain yeah. riverboat. Oh, a kid was waiting to go in there. Now they nope. can't. Okay, Let I, them up. I will get out of the way up. so the kid can do it. Yep. Make it a magical kids, for them. Kids deserve front and center top priority. Mm-hmm. But. It's time to ban the giant strollers. Yes. Goodbye. The double wide. Boosh. The long jogger like Goodbye. Ones. Uh wagons. Uh the regular, if you got a regular stroller? Go f- yeah. Okay, cool. Ooh, a double? Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, you got some kind of triple uh, quadruple thing? 
There's the waterfall. Yeah. Bye bye. They're getting to the point Bye-bye. where the, these strollers are getting so big and complicated. It's like yes. the the fucking garbage lady from the la- at the end of Labyrinth in the dump. Yes. It's like this huge towering thing of chairs and seats and yes. and chur- and oh, uh, got- Cheerio bags and stuff like that. Uh, yes. Uh, Fuck just, off. Just have a normal like a normal stroller. Well, I've got a little cart behind the wagon because uh, you know I got to feed the kids and it's a goddamn Sahara out here. Can I see that cart real quick? Bye bye. <laughs> Yeah. Check out this is the uh, storybook uh, storybook b- b- boat lagoon. Goodbye. Yeah. You can have strollers. I I get it. You, you your kids get tired. Yeah. They need to be in it. But yeah, these crazy contraptions, these gigantic, gigantic ones. Contr- like yeah, yeah it, it, cool it with those, please. Bye. See ya. Bye. Yep. They banned the carts, the um the wagons that behind the stroller. Yes. Uh, they banned that at one point, and then when COVID, uh, when the parks came back after the pandemic. They were kind of not. They're kind of a little fast and loose with that. Like they are banned. Yep. The, I, I still see, see people, people get, wave them through all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I don't get. I did see somebody have to take their stroller back to the car though. Yeah. But then I saw another stroller just as big. I mean, uh, I mean, sorry, not stroller wagon. Yeah. Uh, had to take their wagon back to the car, and then I was in the park, and a giant wagon was in there, and it's like, come on. So. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing needs to be. Let's get some rules and stick to them. Okay, yes, I agree. And the rules I would I would stick to <laughs> is goodbye. All right, you, you're up. Yes, I'm gonna do. Oh, here's here's a good one. This is this is one I've been kind of holding on to. Uh, I always hear about this. Is this gonna be? Are are you gonna lose them or win them? Uh, I think I'm gonna inform them. Okay, because oh, I think I might know what this is. Hey, I think I might. Know. I, I hear about this all the time. Yeah, <laughs> I think I and know. everything like that. But I'm sorry, there is no secret bathroom at Disneyland. <laughs> there, th- those don't exist. Every bathroom is super well known. Some are more comfortable than the other. Some have more stalls than the other. But there is no secret bathroom. This, all the bathrooms are labeled on the map. Yeah, there's giant signs but, saying bathroom. Yeah, and everybody goes, "This is the secret bathroom," and you go in and it's packed. Uh, yeah, like it, they ain't secret, bro. They're not secret. Like there's uh, bathrooms at the Tiki Room. Those are nice bathrooms, but everybody goes to those bathrooms because they're right there. They say bathrooms. And everybody's waiting for the tiki room. Go up and go to the bathroom. The ones like, on Main Street. The ones on Main Street. Yes. I, 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 like BuzzFeed will list those. Do you know about the secret bathroom? They're just there's right a sign you, that says it, restroom. You enter the park. There's a giant sign that says restrooms, and yeah. everybody walk like everybody who just got out of their car or the tram needs yeah. to go to the bathroom. Yeah. So there's always a ton of people in that bathroom. Yeah. So there's no secret bathroom. I'm sorry. I, I 99% agree. Yeah. But one percent, I am gonna speak up. Where did you find one? There are bathrooms that I will specifically use if I have to take a shit at the parks, and they are not secret. Yeah, but hidden in plain sight, and I have a wonderful experience every time, and nobody bothers me. But they're not secret. Okay, they are. They are fully promoted. Yes, but. I'll never say where they are. I will <laughs> never. My favorite bathrooms are just it. Galaxy's Edge because there's so many stalls. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a thousand. And stalls they have and they bathroom. have like audio for the land and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's, play, it's playing like nice, like weird music and stuff it, like that. It makes me That's sad because they're talking about like, oh, that was Gaia playing aboard the Halcyon. Yep. There's a cruise going. It's not all anymore. Tied, it's tied into the story of the Galactic yeah, Star Cruise. If you hear I'm that, like, that's oh, a lie because the Halcyon yeah. is dead. They crashed it. Oh man. <laughs> okay but yeah no secret bathrooms at disneyland i'm sorry uh all the instagram reels and tiktoks and stuff like that so okay next one has something okay th- this is actually related yeah. to galaxy's edge you brought it up okay i'm gonna be this is another positive one ready yeah despite what anyone says i feel like i've been seeing more hate than ever on social media i don't again I follow different people than maybe a lot of other people follow uh, when it comes to theme park stuff. But the Millennium Falcon ride is fun. It is super fun. I love it. And I'll take it a step further. Galaxy's Edge rules. Yep. And I always see, oh, how disappointing. Oh, the Millennium Falcon ride. So stupid. I have to stare at the buttons and that's it. I went... I don't know. You don't have to stare at the you, buttons. You you take in that attitude to the ride, you're yeah. not going to have a good time. If you go yeah. into that ride going like, Ugh, 
I got to push buttons and stuff. Yeah. Okay. You're going to leave that ride bummed. Yeah. If you go in going, oh, fuck, I get to like work together and fly this thing. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. You'll have a great time. So it is definitely more fun if it's all your friends in the yeah. cockpit. Um, and, and I will say it's, it's, we're nearing five years of the ride being built. Mm -hmm. It is super dumb. You yeah. can't go to more than one planet. Having still like, only one and Star Tours, it, it, that's it, terrible. Star Tours gets a new one. I know it's yeah. harder because it's interactive. It's interactive and yeah. real time. Yeah, it's actually a video game. Yeah, uh, Star Tours is, isn't. But we have had like, I feel like seven or eight new yeah. worlds to go to in Star Tours since it came out. Yep. In 2011. Yep. So it, it's crazy to me that this new ride still doesn't have one new place to go. Or one uh, new apparently, to it, that was part of the plan, and yeah. they cut it. Well, uncut it. Yeah. Put it back. It's been years. Uh, but it's fun. Uh, the 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 experience of walking through it, going into the cockpit, boarding up on. Yep. Is a ton of fun. It's super fun, and then it's fun to play. And I always hear. I'm going to let people, this is, you talk about informing people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to inform some people. The thing I always hear is, I just don't like being the, the engineer because you got to stare at buttons the whole time. I don't want to be the gunner because you stare at buttons the whole time. You don't have to stare you at don't. buttons. You don't. There's the a big time. screen in front of you. There's a big screen in front of you. Oh, we're in. Okay. okay. When, we're going. When you're an engineer, you just hit the button when something breaks. You're not looking and at it. And when that happens, they play you start hearing a loud sound and they spray yeah, you yeah. with air. Yeah. So that's when you go, oh shit. Da, 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 da. And you're done. Yeah. You don't have to, I, I don't know. People are saying they don't clearly explain that. That was like common sense to me. I'm watching where we're flying. Yes. It doesn't make any sense to me to go. Go look at the buttons. <laughs> well, if you're doing that, that's on yes. you, I feel like. I've been with This a, is why it's my hot take. Yes. I never thought I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, they make a big commotion when you need to hit a button. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're back in. That's it. I don't know. Yeah. I, to me, that doesn't that, that it's like when you're driving a car, do you uh oh hold on, I gotta mess with the radio. <laughs> like I'm waiting for a song I like to come on. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I just think like we're in a vehicle. I'm I'm eyes on the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. And things that. are going on. I things don't know. Are crazy. Like that doesn't that's make sense the to whole me. cockpit is one giant energy. Like yeah. it's super fun. I've been in with with I know everybody on the thing. I've been in with strangers. Yeah. Still super fun. And like you just gotta go in with that energy. Even if you don't know anybody in there, yeah. You can still like it's still fun. Yeah. But like, I will say, I will say to be fair, though, to be fair, yes. I have gone on it single rider and I was in uh in there and it was a uh chinese family of five and they didn't know how and to i was the sixth person yeah and they sat there they didn't i don't think yeah, i don't yeah. know if they could understand the yeah, narration the, the instructions and so and they were like just that. sitting there quietly you know and that wasn't like a fun ride yeah i was okay. i was like ah, i haven't um, had that experience are we yeah. hit the light speed okay you know <laughs> and uh so i understand that yeah but for the most part i think it's really fun they just need to add more planets mm-hmm and Galaxy's Edge in general, I always see people, oh, it's underwhelming. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the only has two rides. Okay, cool. How many big rides are in New Orleans Square? Yeah. Two? It, it's okay. People really went into that thinking they were getting like another gate, like yeah, another yeah, yeah. park. Mm -hmm. And it's no, it's an addition to Disneyland. It's not going to be this all day experience. Yeah. It's going to be two rides, some restaurants, some shopping areas, all yeah. great. But it's yeah. not like, oh, I can just go there and spend my entire day in this land. And Which at, you can. And, yeah. But we it, did. We when, did. When it was your bachelor party, yeah, you were we, in Galaxy's Edge all day. Most of the time, yeah. But still, like, it's still in addition to an existing theme park. Yeah. Not its own theme park. Uh, as a star, I, I do think also a little bit of the blame is uh, they marketed all kinds of things that didn't yeah, come to pass. They got, they got budget cuts. But so. I will say, personally, because I was excited to go to this, I didn't like hang on that. Mm -hmm. I didn't um, study up on it. I kind of wanted to be surprised. Yeah. So when I went there, I was like, oh, this is like a, an Epcot pavilion from another galaxy. This rules. Mm -hmm. I was totally blown away. 
but I think people who followed it a lot more closely were like, they were supposed to have this. They were supposed to have that. Well, I, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um, and I, I under, I totally think there are a lot of, uh, you know, there were things that they made that were mistakes and things that were cut that they should, that were stupid, but that doesn't make me hate what we got. I don't know. I, I love what we got. So yeah. anyway, I'm, I'm a fan of okay. Millennium Falcon, Galaxy, too. all yeah. that stuff. So I agree with that. I agree, I agree with that one. All right. Yeah. That's all on that one. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, my next one is, I don't know, I'm trying to think if it's positive or negative, but I feel like there is this like fear of change within the parks. I feel like my hot take is that things need to change in the parks to keep it fresh and mm. to do fun mm -hmm. stuff. And there's, there's a point like, obviously like, oh, we're ripping out Haunted Mansion. That's a beloved ride and stuff like that. But yes, there is a level of people's like people who beloved uh, i don't know how to pronounce that but like yeah 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 if you m get rid of a trash can at disneyland there's going to be people a subset of group of that are going to be like that was my favorite trash can i saw that trash can every day i would go to yes. disneyland and uh, my like i just feel like it, things can't be the same forever at disneyland you need to have adjustments you need to uh Add rides, remove rides, things like yes. that. And I feel like that's just natural progression for any theme park. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize that because anytime they touch anything, it's like, oh, that's my most beloved ride. Even if it's like not that great uh -huh. to most people, they'll go, that was my favorite ride in the entire park. It, Everything any, any, in the any, park is someone's favorite yeah, thing they do every It doesn't matter Christmas. how small yeah. or, or how like it, it could be any ride. A bunch of people will go, that was my favorite ride in the park. Yes. And they got rid of it. So that's my hot take is just like change is normal when it comes to theme parks. There's definitely a level of like a balance you have to find, but I definitely feel like people don't realize that they have to change to. Yeah. It, it, people won't realize that if they don't do anything, it'll get really boring. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mostly agree. I mostly agree. Yeah. But there are also people at the top that don't understand the park's history. Yes, and a, uh, lot, I agree. a lot of the heroes of the theme parks have been pushed out. So sometimes it's like, damn, you don't understand. Yeah, I do think that happens. Yes, but like you said, balance. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are things that are like, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to find a, a good example. But yeah, like, yeah. I'm trying to think of one that's like, uh, you know, they they have to. Um, like I, I really loved, I really loved the way the Snow White ride was in Fantasyland. Yes, like it was weird and had a terrible ending. Yeah, <laughs> but I, they, so they changed it, and they now it's they kind of they changed that ride. It has a happy ending. It's got mm -hmm. whatever, but you know, and so I, I wish the old one was there. But also, they. Every younger generation was like scared to go on it. Yes, we don't want to go in there. What is this? It's creepy. It's where it's like you know what? If this if this yeah, we'll make it so the kids want to go on it. Okay, yeah. you know, um, what I'm talking about is like you know uh, we're gonna get rid of like New Orleans Square. We're gonna close off the courtyard, the the, yeah, little, yeah, yeah. the little quiet courtyard, uh, so that Club Thirty Three members get it. Fuck that. Yeah, that's that's dumb. Like that that's elitist shit. Yeah. You know whatever. Um, that's not a change that benefited the guests. No. You know what I mean? Um, don't lock it and don't make less at, space for the guests. Yeah. So, you know, there it's give and take, but you got to accept that some will happen. Yeah. I'm sure people said the same thing about, like, a lot of people don't realize that Fantasyland was, like, gutted in the 80s. Yeah. And, like, even the dark rides were, like, yeah, emptied yeah. out and yep. then rebuilt. Yeah. Um, and so the, like, Fantasyland that we know and love today... I'm sure there are people going, what, you're you're bulldozing this? And it was like almost like a, not a Ren Faire, but almost like like streamers and stuff like that in the original uh, Fantasyland mm -hmm. of Disneyland. And I'm sure there are people like, you're changing that? And it's like, but now that's the new Fantasyland that opened in the 80s. It's beloved. Yeah, yeah. And the, I feel like. I think our Fantasyland in Disneyland is the is the best one. Yeah. Way better than, sorry, Disney World has things that I yeah. love and. And some I even like more. Yes. I, I like their Tomorrowland better than ours for sure. But um, their Fantasyland, is, yeah, it's got that, it's got that circus feel. It just sucks. Yeah, our our like little European village motif, 
Bravo. Yeah. yeah. Even Walt back in the day talked about he didn't like the vibe of it. Yeah. Like we improved it. We yes. did what Walt wanted. Definitely. Um, Jason in the chat says getting rid of the Pinocchio theming on the restaurant was unforgivable to me. I agree. Yeah. It's still like that in Florida, and I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way better. I am bummed that it's still like Rose Tavern Yeah, they changed it to Beauty and the Beast. That being said, that being said, there is Pinocchio representation in Fantasyland already mm -hmm. in multiple places. Yeah. And Beauty and the Beast, there was zero. Yes. So I think they did that and went, okay, this is the one place that kid that you know you could see Beauty and the Beast stuff. Yeah. So I get it, but I hate that. I, I am, I'm with you. I wish it's just stayed Pinocchio. <laughs> um, but that didn't exist at the time at that time. Um, okay. I've got one. You got one? I got a negative one. Ooh. This one is a takedown. Okay. Who you who you who are you taking? Who's who's in your crosshairs? Disney, you're safe. Oh, okay. This is a universal. Oh. And I'm curious if we share this one or not. Maybe. Okay. Maybe we do, and I just didn't write it down. Okay. Ready for this? There is a ride that I have been recommended, that I have been told. All my friends in theme parks, in, in themed entertainment, all across the board, people tell me, oh, Rocco, you would love this ride. Rocco, this ride is for you. I'm trying to think. This, is, uh, this ride feels like something they would have at Tokyo Disneyland. This is a ride that, that uh, oh, it, the, the use of animatronics, the way that they did it is, R Rocco, this will be your favorite ride. And I think it's one of the shittiest rides <laughs> I've ever been on. I don't know what this is. Waste Honestly. of time. The Secret Life of Pets oh. in Universal Studios. Oh, I that shit sucks, dude. I uh, that is a hot take because I completely agree. I did not write oh, that down. And every day, be, no, Rocco. Oh my God, have you been on the Secret Life of Pet? Let me tell you, that is your ride. Hey, hey, your, the, no, it's not. Uh, all they're saying is because there's lots of animatronics. Do anything fun with those animatronics. Don't just put them in a line to see. They are fucking a bunch of animatronic dogs twitching in a room. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I, okay, here's another room f with a bunch of animatronics. But, but did, but did you know it has a hundred and fifty? Yeah, animatronics. There's yeah, they no, suck. There's no story. There is that ride showed me the power of direction. Yep. It really made me appreciate, oh, this is what the Imagineers nailed is the power of direction. Yeah. The Haunted Mansion show you this. Ooh, slide you over to that. Focus you on that. Yep. Secret Life of Pets. Nope, you're in a big room full of Look at this twitching one. dogs. Oh, now this yeah. one's on a firework. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, now, now we're getting Oh, the, the bunnies in a little helicopter. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, projection of them all blowing up. Oh, okay. And um, we got adopted. Yeah. We got adopted. Oh, and yeah. you know what? It's woke. Because you know what? I saw two moms, and I don't think they're just friends. I think they're, do <laughs> I think they're doing stuff. So they went woke. I'm just kidding um, <laughs> about that. I always make fun of the, those kinds of people who would complain about something like yeah. that, but then I'm always scared people are going to Are going like, to believe you? He, I do it so much that I'm scared people think, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you're that guy. But yeah. Anyway, no, um, the concept of being adopted at the end and like you see yourself as a dog at the beginning mm -hmm. and you get adopted at the end, I actually think that's a good like uh, conceit or Through whatever. Piece, for yeah. the, I think that's cool. Yeah. But it's just you're the connect. Like you're just see, you know, it's not bad. It's yeah. the I, the concept is good, but that ride is just watching uh, to, like these animatronics twitch around. Yep. There is no like, oh, now you're going in here and this happens and you're gonna see this and you're gonna, you know, it's it's just you're just kind of looking at stuff slowly. Yeah. And people have already brought it up, but I'm gonna say it. That ride vehicle is I, I'm not even gonna mince words, a cock and ball torture machine. It like jams it, your nuts. It locks right up your you butt. in as if you're about to submerge underwater yeah. or go upside down. It's yeah. like, okay, so not only am I looking at these fake dogs shaking their fucking tail, <laughs> but now I can't have kids. I've yeah. sacrificed that. So I'm like, cool, can we go? Can I be done? 
Yeah. Uh, that ride is a zero out of 10 to me. No, 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 no. no. no the, I'll, the queue is The great. queue is cool. The queue is really You're cool. You're going through a house and all yeah, that. And I love like, the oh, queue. Oh, we're going through apartments. I really do That's like cool. the queue. There's a yeah. GameCube in the queue. Always a plus. Yeah. But the ride is yeah, like. Uh, yeah. More more dick pain than Jackass 4. I agree. <laughs> it's it's bad. But yeah, I actually didn't know what you were talking about. But the second you mentioned it, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I completely agree with that. So, um, Dude, I people will tell me like, yo, that's that is a classic. Like that's that's classic like like Disney, like on the level of of Disneyland's best dark rides. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I, I get yeah, I, I there don't. is no interesting direction in yeah. there at all. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's um I like the Mario Kart ride a lot. People are talking about yes. that. Yeah, it's again, it's tight. I don't know why it needs to be that tight. No, but, but Mario Kart is fun. Universal likes tight rides. Yeah. Like tight ride cars. They really want to lock you in. Yeah. Uh, but um, maybe that's a hot take, but the, I think the Mario Kart ride is a lot of fun. Yeah. Mario Kart ride is a blast. I uh, okay. It. You're you're next. Oh, okay. This, uh, this one's going to be kind of a negative one. Uh, I don't. Uh, this one's for Disney World. Uh, but I. Oh, all right. This is going to. You're going to lose some. I'm going to lose some. You're going to lose them or gain them. I've never been on the <laughs> original ride. Oh, oh, we might have a similar one. We are. But I could, I could smell it. I, I know what it's I, gonna be. I, I think we're gonna have a similar one I, here. I, I don't get the love of Figment. I'm sorry. Next uh, on my list, Figment sucks. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. He's an annoying character. Uh, uh, uh who is it? Uh, who, who? Eric Idle was right. Who's yep. this? Like everybody, I, I cracked up this purple fuck. Um, <laughs> I always crack up. People are so angry that like he wasn't friends with Figment afterwards or whatever. Yeah, how come like, you weren't nice? To, did you get to hang with the Figment? Did you get like, to play around with Figment? I, I, he was like, like, fuck no. No, he stood in front of a green screen and talked, did his lines and then left. <laughs> He's not like, oh, and now, now I'm, I love Figment and stuff like that. Fig, I, I've never been on the original ride, but... Everything I see from Figment, the new ride, he's annoying as hell. I don't get it. I don't well, get it. Most people would tell you that you had. It really is the legacy is the original ride. Yeah, from that, when your child. That original kid, ride like that. was magical, and he's the the mascot of it. Yeah. Um, which I understand. I like. I like. I actually like Dreamfinder. The the uh, Dreamfinder. Dreamfinder. Dreamfinder's cool. You know, guy with a balloon. But that's this too, annoying you know. dragon fuck. Yeah, I don't care about. Um, I'll take it a step further though. Yeah, that old ride. I've watched videos. Looks dope, and I wish I yeah. could. I wish I, wish I, I could have gone, gone on it. But I just don't care about cartoon mascots. I don't care. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm talking about Disney attraction stuff that I love, I'm loving the pirates. Mm. I'm loving the haunted mansion, the skeleton guy, mm. the this guy with the beard. You know, whatever. I'm loving it. when it comes to Epcot, mm. Spaceship Earth. You got all the all the humanoid characters in that. The cavemen. Think the Phoenicians. Yeah. Love all that stuff. That classic wed style stuff. Yeah. I don't care about cartoon. No, I just we've don't, talked about. This. I don't like stuff with Mickey on it. Yeah. I don't like stuff with Figment we, on it. I, I, I I'll don't. see something really cool, and then yeah. they'll put a Disney character on it. I'm like, I'll yeah. ne I'll never buy that. I do I not don't it, like popcorn buckets that are just Mickey as yep. something. I will never buy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just and there's there something are, about like I don't I don't really care about it. There are exceptions. Yeah. Uh, you know when they're really obscure, and like every now and then they'll put out a Mr. Toad thing, and I yeah. love that. I get that. Uh, but he's also like not kind of in the ride very much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's not like he's a mascot and name only kind of yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. you know? So I don't know. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I don't like Figment. I would have loved to have gone on that original ride. And I still like the Imagination Pavilion. Yes. Uh, I still Half go on the of it is the, not accessible. No. And the current ride is bad, but I still enjoy going yeah. on it. And they did that. Uh, popcorn bucket with figment in it i do like figment adjacent things so i'm not mm -hmm. gonna i'm not gonna oh it's yeah. got figment fuck this yeah, yeah um he still represents epcot but i just don't care about the mascot and uh, are people still waiting in like 10 hour lines to to meet him in the meet and greet that, died that done down. okay good 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 anyway okay that <laughs> you took away one of mine okay that's good i i, I had a feeling we we're gonna have similar ones with yeah. that one so okay uh Yes, All right. I, sorry, I agree. Same with the orange bird. I don't 
They try, I don't care about the They've been the trying bird. to do that orange bird thing yeah. here. Nobody cares. Yeah. That's a Florida thing. And I feel like even in Florida, I don't hear much about it. Like, uh, they just try. They keep trying to make some this people bird. in Florida. I think value it as like yeah. almost like a local thing. Yeah, you know. But um, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, sorry. Continue. No, it's okay. Uh, okay. Me. This is definitely a hot take. It's not positive or negative, but it's a hot take. Okay. Let's talk the hotels of okay. Disney World. Yeah. Yeah. Someone in the chat earlier had their own hot take where they said, I feel like hotels are half the, exp- the, the like staying on site is half the experience, which I think is a good take. Yeah. Some people would argue, no, I don't do that. You know, I know a lot of people who after um, there was a point in time where they were charging for parking. They stopped doing that. Oh, fuck. It, they started charging for parking that at sucks. the hotels like 25 a night. Yeah, that was a JPEG, Bob JPEG yeah, yeah. Uh, line item. People still hate him for that. Uh, but then he left and they immediately got, got, rid, got of rid of it. it. Yeah. So. Um, I hear that take. I hear that. Mm-hmm. I'm not actually saying that, but I guess I kind of am. I have stayed at a lot of different hotels at Disney World. I have stayed at the dumbest, cheapest ones. Um, you know, all star music. Yeah. All star sports, whatever. Uh, 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 Pop Century. Yeah. Has a giant laptop on the building. Pop like, Century is, is uh, I love Pop Century because they right? in their lobby, they have these like shadow boxes full of like different eras of stuff. Yeah. They have, like a 90s shadow box. There's like a yeah. Tamagotchi and a, and a like totally. all these uh, like a cell phone from 97 and all yeah. that stuff. It's really cool. So uh, there's those hotels and I've also stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, yeah. where I stayed in like the fucking, I saw, I could see like giraffes from my room. Mm-hmm. I've stayed in some of the nicest hotels that they have on property. The contemporary is awesome. Actually, I don't want to diss the contemporary because that is part of Disney world's like early history. Yes. So like uh, any chance to stay there? Hell yes. Um, but in general, I'm going to say this might be a hot take. Okay. Lay it on me. Cause I don't know. I, I would rather I've stayed at the whole range of hotels mm-hmm. in Disney World. I'd rather stay at the cheaper ones. Yes. I, I agree. Think the cornier ones are more fun. Mm-hmm. When I stayed at the nice ones, Animal Kingdom Lodge, I don't forget the wilderness lodge. I, I don't know. I've stayed yeah, at yeah. a few nice ones. Like the and I got and I got a deal on those. And mm-hmm. it was like, yeah, this is gonna be the best trip ever. And I was like, I had more fun staying at Art of Animation. Yeah. Uh, in, they put me in a cars themed room. It was the ugliest room I've ever seen in my <laughs> life. And then you get out, but like, you know, kids are there and there's the sculpture of Simba over there and a big stupid Roger Rabbit over there. And it, it's to me, it's the camp is part of the yes. fun. The whole tour of Disney thing, world. Like, yes. And I'm going to, because I lost one of mine, I'm going to actually dovetail this into my in my next one that I want. Okay. I'm going to add because I lost the figment one. We already, yeah, yeah. We already did we that We agreed once. on that one. Had that one. I'm going to I'm gonna um, pivot this into a bigger hot take that I have. I think the theme parks are better playing into camp than being spectacular. And I, mm-hmm. what I mean by that is like, Disneyland Paris, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Tokyo Disney Sea. Oh, yeah. Breathtaking view. Yeah. But what I prefer is corny ass, dumb ass, stupid ass, lame ass, lame ass Disney World stuff like <laughs> watching Cosmic Ray, watching uh, Sunny Eclipse play the keyboard in the burger restaurant. Yeah. Or watching the Country Bears, or going on the People Mover and going around while you're eating popcorn, or going to see the Carousel of Progress. Mm -hmm. These things that people say are corny and dumb and lame, to me, that is peak Disney theme park. Yes. I value I I value camp more than look how beautiful (laughs) and breathtaking. Look the castle of Disneyland Paris. Look the view of the lagoon and the at the uh, Disney Sea and the whatever. It's stunning. Yeah. I would rather have the corny ass uh, 
Sunny Eclipse playing in the burger restaurant at Tomorrowland. <laughs> I would so rather I chill. would rather have campy. Yes. That to me is my lifeblood. Mm-hmm. That stuff rather than something that's ooh really yeah. impressive. Something you know? that that's lasted. It's so goofy. Yeah. And and cheesy. But something that I still do occasionally because it's fun, and I have no idea why it's still there. But yeah. the bakery tour at DCA yeah. is still the cheesiest thing. It's still like Rosie O'Donnell and uh, Colin Mockery, Colin Mockery yeah. talking about how sourdough bread is made. Yep, It's so cheesy, but I love oh, it. Oh, it rules. It, it rules, rules yeah, yeah. because it's just goofy and dorky mm-hmm. i love it it doesn't need to be not everything needs to be like oh this is the next crazy no hot ride. The camp is what makes yeah, yeah, it yeah. fun totally making everything slick can hurt yep you know but uh anyway that's why i i like the domestic parks more than i do like paris or whatever mm-hmm. because i think paris they made a beautiful they, it was like let's make the most beautiful park we can yeah they did a great job yeah, looks great but they don't have country bears they don't have they don't have this corny old school wed stuff um that makes it fun so um i always prefer the domestic parks but to tie it back to what i like or or the hotel thing yeah i would rather stay at the cheesier cheaper hotels i actually think it adds to the experience um where it feels like yeah i'm in disney world Mm -hmm. when i stay at a fancy hotel it's like oh that was a i had a nice stay it's a fancy hotel yeah but i don't feel but i don't feel like i'm entering disney world till i get into the parks whereas if i when i stay at the stupid hotel it's like just yeah it's it's corny it's part of it i I like it great i loved walking through all these giant it's like here's a here's a two-story jar of play-doh that like (laughs) pop century is my top pick because it goes it's connected with the Sky of Skyway. The, it's got the sky, the Skyliner mm-hmm. or whatever it's called. Yeah, uh, and uh, takes you right into the parks. It's fun. Yep. It, I I can't recommend it enough. That's my favorite thing. Yeah. Anyway, that's kind of two in one. But yeah. All right, you're next. My on my next. Oh, I had it in my head, but I totally forgot. Uh, uh, Sorry. Uh, my next one is I think uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of a two parter. Sure. But. I think Pixar is used way too much in the des- decoration yeah. of the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specifically Toy Story. Yes. I, I think the Toy, Agreed. St- the Toy Story aesthetic yep. is ugly. Yep. And it does and they not. they keep trying to shoehorn it into keep everything. keep trying to yep. do this thing. Like, and, and I get it, Pixar and stuff like that, yep. add Pixar. But like Pixar Pier, I think, is a lesser product with, yes. with the Pixar overlay yes. um, than it was before because it was just a boardwalk and it yep. looked cool. And now it's. All this got kind of this tacky stuff attached to it. Yep. But specifically, Toy Story. Everybody, like, yeah, they always uh, want to do, like, the clouds or the giant, like... Oh, big erector like, set. Yeah. Oh, big uh, tinker toy. And it's, I'm good. Uh, it It's like, it it doesn't ever look good in any... They try. They, I think they have that in every park now. Yeah. Some it, sort it, of it sucks Toy Story time. thing. And it never looks good. I don't get it. So specifically, Toy Story, uh, I don't... See why they J- they would need to do that. Jason says there's never been a good Pixar experience in a theme park. Wrong. Cars Land. Go oh, yeah, Cars, Cars Land, Land is, great. is fantastic. Yeah, and that's I. Every now and then I see haters on that too. Uh uh-uh. That ride is stellar. I, you have a great dinner yeah. there. You go on that incredible ride. Yep. The music is good. the 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 vibe there is super cool. The vibe there is just California, like hot California yeah. night. Uh, that rules. Yep. How is Cars the only one that got? Something I know cool? everything else is like bugs, everything bugs else land. is haggard. It's like uh, that's gone now. But yeah. like, it's just funny how yeah, Cars Cars is the only one that made it out of there. It's okay, like, oh, that's J- good. Jason said, "Okay, lol, you got me. He <laughs> forgot about that." Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But that is uh, that is the only one. Yep. Any other Pixar thing in a park is dead on arrival. Yes. 100%. What is that? I don't get it, but, and but people to- love it. But Toy Story, especially, move on from the blue cloud fucking giant yes. Tinker Toy bullshit. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> actually the size of a toy now. Look, look at the big footprint. You're actually the. Si- I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm done. Hot take: Bugs Land was awesome. Yep, that is a hot take. That, that is that a thing, very hot take. That thing sucked. I think, hey, specifically, a big hot take. I know we mentioned this before. But man, those rides were not good. No, they Especially were carnival rides. The 
you train smell that like, wasn't even ironically that funny wasn't even on. ironically funny that was a garbage ride you it go was on never it. enjoyable yeah nothing worked it was it was for babies it's not fun yeah uh bugs life you would go with like family that had like kids and stuff, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and the kids would be like yeah can we go on pirates of the caribbean like <laughs> get out um now i may turn that on its ear a little bit with mine okay I may pivot yeah. out of the Pixar thing a little bit because I may make one more exception. Yeah. But it's kind of not. I didn't intend this. Okay. But my next hot take. I like the submarines. I see people bag on that shit every day. Oh, the submarines. I'd rather die than go in the submarine. I, I like it. Hey, it. I like the it, submarines. It's really cool. But let me just say real quick. Yeah. yeah. The Pixar thing. I think still applies because I don't think it's good. I think it's good in spite of Finding Nemo. Yes. Because why I like it, it's still the old submarine ride system that Walt oversaw. Mm -hmm. To me, that is worth experiencing, and I love it going through the lagoon. You're, it's such a neat you're experience. Looking out it's of so this Disneyland into, through to Through actual me. water, yeah. seeing a bunch of actual stuff, yeah. and beyond that, it's now N Nemo characters, yeah. which I could take or leave, but you're still looking through a real porthole, through yeah. real water, seeing real things. Yes. And that's really uh, cool. Yeah, the Nemo aspect, uh, I don't care. Yeah. But I I like, I think it is good despite that. Um, I do think also, maybe I'm crazy, I do think they ventilate them better since COVID. Yes. And they're, I, and I remember, they're electric now. I remember looking around in there and going, this is different. There's things on the roof, like they're filtering it or yeah. something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I've never had like a bad ex I never feel hot or stuffy in there ever. Yeah. And uh, they're electric now, so it's it's pretty smooth and you don't hear anything. It's pretty nice. Uh, but I, I like that. That was that was my next one. Yeah. That's it. I just enjoy. I think that ride system is so unique. It is. And it's it's no one else is doing that. It's super nice. Florida got got rid of theirs. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that's a bummer. Because it's so cool. Yeah. So that's all. I, I liked it. Yeah. My, I liked it. Subs. Yeah. What's next uh, for you? Mine's going to like, it's going against kind of like a whole subset of theme park enthusiasts. But I feel like if you only have roller coasters at your theme park. Yes. You can't call it a theme park. Oh, okay. It's. That's a good take. That's a hot take. There's. You can't just name a coaster and paint it a color and have it be a theme thing like I, yep I, it's like oh this is the the crazy hulk coaster and it's green and it's called the hulk okay yeah nice it, try it's still a coaster super fun probably i i enjoy coasters but i feel like there's this like if that's all you have uh, it gets boring yep. real quick yep like, agree. uh i think a lot of uh, places only focus on coasters and not really good theming and it's yep it's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Like I, I enjoy it. Like there were at Cedar point, there was a couple little slivers you can find like glass blowing yeah, and things like that. But overall it was like, oh, I don't, I can go on coasters anywhere. Yep. And that, that's, that's the way I see it. Um, like the coasters are fun and stuff like that, but I yeah. feel like I can do that at any park and yes. There's certain things I can't do at other parks. Yeah, like, I want something that only your park has. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's that's my hot take is I yep. feel like uh theming is not real it's kinda like pushed way off to the side when it comes yep. to roller coaster themed uh theme parks. Yeah, I think it's like a, an excuse to not try. Yeah. I agree with you. It's okay. easy to just buy and install. Yeah, that's yeah. It. Totally. Like you just need the foundations and then you're done. Yep. All right. I agree. Yep. I think that's a good hot okay. take. Okay. 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 My next one, I think this is my last one. Oh, really? I, I think, yeah, I, I, got, I got one more after you. Okay. All right. Last one for me, and it is a negative one, is I, I'm going to be a hater, and this is going to seem like it's coming out of left field. Like, where, okay. where did this yeah, come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's random as hell, but there is one thing I am done with in the parks, just like what you were saying with Toy Story. Yeah. There is something that is in every park, and I'm like, bye, stop. There is a song. I don't know what it is, but whenever they play Disney music in the parks, 
There's a million different places. They always feel the need to play fucking be our guest from Beauty and the Beast. That is in the theme parks way too much. <laughs> I feel like half the places I go are playing. I'm good. Yep. I'm good. There's no Beauty and the Beast stuff here, so I don't need to hear that. <laughs> be our guest. Be our guest. I'll do nervous to the test. I'm good. We're not watching Beauty and the Beast. Shut up. <laughs> uh, that's in like half the restaurants. Now it's at Epcot, like around yeah, the clock. Yeah. Now it's it's like it's everywhere. I'm, can we move on from yeah, Beauty yeah, yeah. and the Beast? I'm so done with Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> uh I am uh I am looking forward to going on the uh, uh the new ride at the new ride at in Tokyo. Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't give a fuck <laughs> about that song anymore. Uh, I'm gonna They play uh, it all the time. This isn't um my next hot take or anything, but it's just gonna uh, 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 piggyback onto yours. But also in the same thing of talking like um the small world song is annoying is wrong like this this whole yeah. thing of like oh yeah the, like the ride's cool but man that song it's just over and over and it's like that song's great yeah it, that it, one should be in the park and, and there'll, there'll be shirts like i survived or i got through small, i conquered, conquered, small, conquered world. small world and it's like what, what are you conquering what did you kill the kids it's just you're it's a what nice happened? ride with a great song like yeah. I, I i don't i yeah. do not get it yeah i do not get when people go like oh yeah it's just that, so, that just so be, annoying and repetitive that became a thing lazy people just keep repeating yes uh, uh oh you didn't did you hear in small world uh oh you didn't <laughs> hear the music did you please don't play that song again no don't, don't play don't. you're just repeating that <laughs> you you're just repeating what yep. you heard yep exactly all right. Uh my last one it, it's kind of, I'm wait, go, I'm going to go wait, wait, did you know Akira Toriyama died? <laughs> I did. I did. Okay. Um I uh I feel I'm going to go in Garrett mode on this one. I'm going to go into Garrett mode real quick. But Uh-oh. The DCA has a Ferris wheel. Yeah. And there's swinging side Uh-oh. and a non-swinging side. Uh-oh. The swinging side it's not bad. Everybody acts like this is going to fuck your day up. It is the tamest thing. There's nothing scary about it. Huh. it. It does not drop you at all. Yeah. It is. You just sit in a seat and it moves. And everybody on, on TikTok and everything's just like, scariest thing at the park is the swinging gondolas uh, yeah. at the thing. And people just hear that and they go, oh, I'm not going to go on it. It is not bad. Mm. I don't get I do not get the 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 terror of that that side of the ride. That one, that's subjective. <laughs> I'm never going on it. You can it, tell me that all day. Yeah, yeah. No desire to swing in that fucking bucket. <laughs> nope. Don't it, care. It I'm sure it's fine swings. compared to other stuff. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I don't want. I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, you no don't have desire. to do it. Nobody. Has, and it really, you can only tell by going on. Like half the people have not even been yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's one thing I hear about and see online all yeah. the time of like all oh, the scariest thing. Even on game days. Yeah. And, like yeah. or the podcast where you're cutting between like swinging and all. We, we went on years with Tommy ago. Yeah, 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 years ago. Yeah. And it was just all like freaking out and not freaking out. It's like it's not. I don't. And this is somebody who hates drops. Hates like I don't really enjoy drops or. Like roller coasters, uh, uh, occasionally yeah. I like, but I go on that and I go that this is just sitting in a seat. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. You you slide down and it does this, but you're not like swinging out and going crazy. And there's no there's no uh, seat belts. You don't need them. It does not go crazy. Everybody just sees that and they yeah. they lose their minds. Yeah. So, well, that's mine. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm never going on that, so I guess I no disagree. no. You don't have to go on it, but. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, well, there is that your last one? That's my last one. All right, guys, we got through our hot takes. Yep. What do you think of our hot takes? What are your hot takes? Definitive hot let takes. Let us know in the chat. <laughs> if you got any, let us know. Otherwise, you know, you can watch us on YouTube, post the hot takes in the comments. Yeah. Hot take, the, cre the old crypt is not even that creepy. Okay, well, shame on you for calling us <laughs> out. Um... Hot take is that the chimichanga is okay. Oh. No, Ooh, that is a hot no, take. Not good. 
Disney is relying too much on existing IP for their parks instead of creating original ideas. I don't think that's a hot take. <laughs> no, I don't think that's a hot take at all. My take is my hot take is that Six Flags is literal trash for uncultured jabronis. Um, mm-hmm. I agree. I with Six know. Flags being trash. Yeah, I don't know about the rest, but like, yes, I don't, I don't like Six Flags whatsoever. Hmm. Hot take: They should bring back the Drew Carey sound show. <laughs> I don't think so. Bring back um, uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Play it. It's a hot yeah, take. hot take. Bring Regis back. Yeah, <laughs> from the dead. Yeah. Well, guys, that's our hot takes. Yeah. What did you think? Let us know if you agree, disagree. Leave a comment. <laughs> Don't leave a comment, but do subscribe. Yeah. That helps. Uh, and if you like, hey, if you like Mega 64, pick up the Mega 64 Blu-ray. Mega 64, time to take a long, hard look. Oh, yeah. It's on Blu-ray now. Well, if you're yeah. watching this live, it's not up yet. But no, it but it will be tomorrow. very very soon tomorrow. Um, okay. Well, that's, that's pretty yeah. much it. I don't have anything else to add. Next next episode, we're probably going to be in the yeah, parks. Yeah, we, I, think I think we're planning we're on being in the parks, parks for the next one. So look forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and let us know, by the way, if there's a certain subject you want us to cover. Yes. When we're We've got a parks. couple ideas, uh, but uh, yeah. but yeah, any suggestions would, would help. Yes. All right, everybody. Yeah. Thank you for watching. This has been another creepy old crypt. Hot take. There are probably better uses of space in California than another avatar area. No, I'm sorry. Wrong. No. Nope. You're wrong. Incorrect. <laughs>